Hello, random YouTube people. I'm back with another video. I'm gonna talk about today the Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6 mesh router system. Hey, subscribe. So the problem is my existing network, the router seems to be dropping signal all the time. At first I thought it was the network, which is Comcast in my case, but all the time I would reset the router, reset the modem, and probably about two hours later it would drop again, and sometimes even 10 minutes later, 30 minutes later, it just kept dropping the signal. So I got really frustrated with Comcast, with my equipment. I also wanna to switch to fiber optic network instead of using Comcast cable, because I've just had no luck with them, unfortunately. The only way that the fiber optic company can get access to my house is to run something into my basement because I have a two-story home and the likelihood of them being able to run ethernet cable all the way up to the upstairs where my office is, is highly unlikely. So I set up my router downstairs, my existing one, and it was only getting maybe like 60 or so megabytes per second max in my office. And I'm paying right now for 200 megabytes per second. With fiber optic, I'll be getting a gig up and down. So I really want to make sure that I can get the signal up to my office. So this mesh system is gonna allow me to have the router in the basement, a satellite is what they call them, on the main level, and a satellite upstairs, hopefully in the office. So I'm gonna try something new today, which is that mesh system through Netgear, the Nighthawk, and we're gonna show you how to install it. All right, I'm down in my basement, and this is where the fiber optic company would likely run the line, is right where the cable is coming in right now. So this is my Comcast cable line and phone lines. And whoever built this house, you know, just ran it in this big jumble of mess right here. So what I do have at the moment is a cable coming to a router over here, or sorry, a modem. And then I had this router hooked up, but I've got the Netgears installed, which I'll show you in a minute. And then that all has to run over here to get plugged into this extension cord which is plugged into the one and only outlet down here in the basement right there. So I've got some work to do if I'm gonna have my network down here in the basement, but I'm just doing some testing. It's not ideal, it's really not. Okay, here's the Netgear Nighthawk Mesh Wi-Fi 6 network system. The middle is a router and there are two satellites. One will be on each level in my particular case. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. So you can see there in the middle is the router and on each side is a satellite. So here's our router, and we're going to set that up first. Also, when you open the box, you will find this quick start guide, which indicates to download the Nighthawk app onto your phone to install your mesh system. So let's show you how that app works. I have downloaded the Netgear Nighthawk app on my phone. We get it open, and it's going to try to detect existing devices, which I don't have. So I'm gonna click connect with anywhere access to continue. And I don't have Wi-Fi set up yet, so connect via anywhere access to continue. Then of course you just follow the instructions on screen, click get started to move on. In this case, click Nighthawk Mesh System. Next, it's going to ask you to scan the QR code on the router itself. Click enable camera to scan, click okay to allow access for the camera, and find your router and go ahead and scan the QR code. Try to of course get it in focus. And there she is, okay. Then you'll continue to follow the on-screen instructions. It's asking us to find and locate the modem. Now it wants us to unplug the modem and plug it back in so that it can get a fresh connection to the service that you currently have, in this case, Comcast. The next step is actually plugging in the modem to the router itself. There is a provided ethernet cable that you can use. My modem, and I'm just pulling back the cellophane just in case I want to return it. Now I need to connect the power, of course, and then connect the ethernet cable from the modem to the router. Back to the app, we click continue, and it's going to ask us to place all of the satellites in the desired locations. So we'll go ahead and do that. Put one on the main, one upstairs, and hopefully that works great. I have the first satellite installed on the main level by the TV, and the second satellite upstairs in my office by my computer. Back to the app, we're gonna click next and it's going to go ahead and set up the satellites and the network for you. This can take a little bit, so I'll go ahead and fast forward. 
Now that setup's complete, we're gonna go ahead and click continue and it's gonna ask us to join our new network. In this case, mine's called Netgear 94. Go ahead and click join. Now it has detected a router and it's gonna continue the setup process automatically. Now detecting satellites and we're almost complete. Now it's time to personalize our network by giving it a network name and a password. Click next to set up the personalization process. Clicking into your username and password to set it up for your admin user. Enter whatever password you would like. I will certainly be changing this password after this video. The next step, it's gonna ask you if you want to use Face ID if you're on an iPhone. I'll go ahead and use that, I really like it. Then security questions. Now it's gonna finish the installation of your personalization settings, check for new firmware, and get your router set up. There we go, our network is set up and running. Let's go ahead and check the speed by doing a quick internet speed test. Now this is just gonna check the speed to the router itself, not to the satellites. But you click on the internet speed button and give that a shot. I am paying for 200 megabytes per second and I'm getting 238, so I'm happy with that. Okay, once your network is set up and running, you can move around the satellites to get the best coverage in your house. In my case, my fiber optic is gonna run down to this area of the basement. Directly above me is a bathroom and a closet. So the configuration of my house worked best if I moved the main floor satellite to the closet. So on the main level, I moved the satellite from the TV in the family room over to this coat closet because the coat closet is in a better location to send the signal upstairs to the office. I will be adding a new outlet so that I don't have to have this cable running along the floor, but that's where it works best right now for me, for my situation. And upstairs I have my second satellite and I have it connected ethernet from the satellite to my computer for improved and enhanced speeds. As you know, the whole point of installing this network mesh system was to get higher internet speeds from downstairs upstairs to the office. Before I changed anything, I ran a speed test, and with my old router upstairs, I was getting 146.9-ish megabytes per second. When I moved that old router downstairs into the basement, I was only getting 65.21 up in my office, which is abysmal. With the mesh setup installed, up in my office at the router using Wi-Fi, I'm getting now 159.27. If I connect to Ethernet, that jumps up to 235.66. So that's awesome. Considering I'm only paying for 200 megabytes per second at the moment. So there we go. Set up the Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6 mesh system, and I'm really happy with the results. Can't wait for fiber optic cable. If you like this video, it helps me out if you just like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.